At one point, I slipped my hand into his out of habit, and I thought, this feels really weird. And I, I took my hand back out of his hand. It just didn't, I, it just didn't feel right anymore. You know, there just isn't anything there anymore. There, there just isn't. I've been in love with her before, so I can be in love with her again. I just feel like we need to reestablish trust. I want to feel like I am a person to her, not an object. Well, maybe Koei has learned something after all, after Christine has left him, because it seems like he has decided to take Janelle out on a date that was a bit awkward and a little cringy and a little bit pathetic and sad after yeah. seeing it, you know. But we're going to get it to you guys. It's Mary. And I'm Ma. Thank you much, guys, to like, subscribe, and comment down below, you all, because today we are going to get into this date to you all. We posted a question on our um, community page begging the question, do women need to feel respected and cared for in order to have intimacy with a partner? And do men and does that and is it important for men? Mm -hmm. um, and the reason why we brought that up is because Janelle mentioned a time where I think it was during this episode. We're going to link the video down below. Um, but she mentioned that during the date or whatever, you know, they turn off the cameras or whatever. But Janelle had mentioned that. You know, he had helped, well, she had reached out to hold his hand out of just, you know, habit. Yeah. And then she took it back because it felt awkward. Mm -hmm. And she said she also feels like there's really no hope for a for the relationship. No because there's no connection. Mm -hmm. And I really feel like that stems from the way that he has treated her. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Where Cody is basically like, well, you know, yes, let's have sex. You know, let's talk about sex, baby. Let's, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And he's basically like, let's go ahead and get back together, whatever. Like, let's let the past be the past. You know, but at the end of the day, I feel like he kind of is the villain. Like, he has done more wrong in the relationship. So, yes, yeah. he can't feel like that. She's more so the victim. But yeah. also, you have mistreated my children. I'm a mother, exactly. one. You've also mistreated me. Yeah. You have been doing favoritism, which I didn't really yeah. care about before. But now yeah. it's like you... Well, mother of... She has six. Mary has one. Yeah. yeah. So, it's just kind of like you have not really been present. You have not been there. You've been yelling at me. You have been calling me all these names. I'm going to choose your loyalties exactly. and all this stuff. Exactly. So, it's hard for me to put all that in the back of my mind and say, let's come together and let's basically... He hasn't cared for her. He hasn't cared for her. Yeah. So... And has not treated her well at all. And... Yeah. Because he hasn't, he hasn't treated his kids well. Right. He hasn't cared for his kids. I mean, look at how he just forgot about Savannah. And that was recent. Yeah. Did like for what three weeks she had not heard from him. Yeah. She had not heard from her dad since Christmas time. Yeah. And Savannah hasn't done you any wrong in your mind. Right. But you just totally ignored her. Right. You know, and you just felt like, oh, even when he talked in the confessional, it was just like, Oh, I'll reach out to Savannah. Whatever. It'll be I'll bring Christmas, but I'll be late. It's like he just very like nonchalant he didn't attitude. Care about that. You see that's the thing. Yeah. Not caring. Yeah. Not caring how this resonates with Savannah. Well also yeah. how it resonates with Janelle. Also. Because women and men I feel like they view love and intimacy very differently. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where I feel like maybe men need respect, where women they need to feel cared yeah. for, they yeah. need to feel safe and exactly. all that stuff, right? Exactly. But he has not done that. I feel like the only way that they will probably be able to get back to a good space is if Cody makes up with the kids. Mm -hmm. That's the only way he's gonna get to Janelle. And yeah. if he does right her right by her with the land. And but Go ahead, finish. But there's no way in hell that she's going to be able to be intimate with him if he doesn't correct those wrongs. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he's basically trying to sweep everything to the side and be like, let's just focus on you and me, baby. Like, I want to kiss you. Like, all this bolsa bata. Like, it's just, like, women aren't like that. No. Like, we are, I hate to say emotional creatures, but we are very intuitive. We're also very exactly. spiritual. Even if you're not, like, religious, yeah. I feel like women were really connected to creation you know yeah. what i'm saying because we give yeah. birth and all this stuff yeah. you know so i feel like because of that it's a lot deeper than just oh yeah. he touched my hand oh let's get it on you yes, know what i'm saying yeah. whereas with a man it's like I you don't need all a that man, whether he's respected or disrespected <laughs> he that doesn't mean that he's not gonna come and do something with you physically right i mean we've seen that with the um that lady Brittany. Rena, yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. Who has been very disrespectful to a lot of the men, and that doesn't mean that they don't want to get it popping with her, you know? Yeah. But for a woman, I feel like it's deeper than that. She can't really get off. She can't really be intimate with you per se, except if she's faking it. If she doesn't feel that care, I yeah, mean, you know, that care from you, yeah, you know. Um, we saw that with what Kimmy. 
in Kim uh, and Maurice. Oh my Love God! Where right? he's basically telling Where that even though you have cancer, I still need my sex though. But she's like, but it's like, how can I have sex with you and get off when my husband is still trying to force sex on me while said, I have cancer? Like, like I how cannot do, have, I've not been able to have an orgasm since I met you. <laughs> how many years that been? Since she met him. I'm like, sure. I, I think it was his. Listen, I, listen, I listen. But Kimmy, I know you sitting down there lying. Okay, listen. You can tell the truth. You would say no, since I you mean, met him, because that man, like, because if you have a man who's so demanding, like, who, like he said, well, he needs sex as if so he has like a uncaring. sexual addiction. He doesn't care that she's in a whole hell of pain because of this chemotherapy that she's taking. As long as you cater to me, and so with that. It's like, okay, well, go ahead, come on then, but I'm going to have to fake it. And he doesn't care about that. And as, as time goes on, she's going to resent him. And I don't She's going to see, leave him. Yeah. I don't see that relationship no, that's, lasting. To me, I feel like that's such a violation. Because, yeah. I mean, that's the person who's seen you at your most vulnerable. And, you know, I just feel like it's really sad and it's unfortunate yeah. that you have to be with a partner who can't even let you have a break yeah. when you're going through cancer. And um, so, yeah, I feel like... There's a disconnect. Did, yeah. And that's what, you know, like, coming back to Janelle, that's what she says. We're here. It's awkward. It's almost like I'm going to do this little run here with you. Mm-hmm. But as far as I'm concerned, it is a run. Yeah. Like, it doesn't mean that we're back together. We are still separated. I want to see if we're going to have any connection. And she's like, there is no connection. Yeah. You know, and even at one point, she's like looking away from him out the window, kind of like touching her hair, like, you know. Like, why did I come out here? Exactly. I think that's what she's like, thinking. And she's touching her hair, like, oh, why the hell am I here? Why am I here? Yeah. I could, I mean, so. she said she's a realist at the end of the day. So she mm-hmm. said she will have, they will have to be struck by lightning for this to work. Where Cody is completely delusional, talking about how, you know, I feel like a little kid again. Like, am I going to get my first, like, are we going to kiss after this date? I'm like, you. Mm. Are quite deluded, and I don't know what it is. I well, really don't. They did go home together. Well, she said they had a great day, then they went home, and I was like, "What does that mean? Does that mean they had sex?" I was like, "You know." But I mean, I, I don't know, man. They'll just go and be like, "Well, look, I need my oil change right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and do what I gotta do." But that doesn't mean we're back together. But does that null and void everything we just said? If she did have sex with <laughs> Uh, well, it just means that, you know... Well, Maybe she's having one true. for the rule because she's not going to have sex for a while. I don't know. <laughs> you know, that could be it. Or maybe it just landed some truth to what we've been saying. That she thinks more like... A man. ...masculine part than her feminine part. So, hey... Yeah, I think maybe she's she's tussling with both sides of herself. That's what I think. That's what I truly believe. Yeah. But I mean, I just feel like yeah, it was a nice gesture. But I feel like Cody has done too much damage. And the it's thing is, he's damage. not addressing the real problem. Mm-hmm. And the real problem is the way you've treated my kids. The fact that I am basically homeless. Mm-hmm. I have no assets. You're not cared for me. You've not protected me. No. Nope. Either. Um. I. Yeah. I have if anything, no you put me to the side. There's no legacy for my kids. Nope. Um, you've seen to <clears throat> Robin, but you've not seen to me. Yeah. Um, and he has put Robin above everything else, even above his own kids mm-hmm. and his wives. And she's just, like, <laughs> fed up with it. So there's no way I feel that it's going to mm-hmm. actually really work out for I sure. I wonder how Robin feels when he's out on this date with Janelle. Because it seems like she has been she in might some have bubble just... by herself with Cody. Well, she probably Uh-oh. was clapping her two feet in the air, probably <laughs> singing all her happy songs because oh. he's out of the house. Maybe thinking, oh, yes, I still get to have some polygamous Or at least I get to at least still have at least one wife to torture and rub yes. in her face that I have a man who cares for me, doesn't give a damn about you. Mm. And maybe that's what she's doing or whatever. But I don't think Robin was really too pressed about it. About Cody going, you know. Yeah, I mean, because not. she has already said they're separated. He only did this because it was her birthday or whatever. You really should have taken Savannah out. That's my issue with Cody. Like, he doesn't really want to address the problem. But, I mean, I feel like, you know, low-key, I feel like men can be a little bit of babies. You know, they hate confrontation. They just don't want to deal with confrontation. And that's <laughs> fine, because I'm the same way. I would rather avoid confrontation like the plague. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like he needs to do right. He's done so much wrong. He just has to bite the bullet. I think the only way he can do that is being, being accountable, especially with Janelle. He has to... Get her respect back. And I just feel like he has done so much right. wrong that I think it's too late. It's too I little really too think, late. I just really think it's a little too late. I think when you reach that space 
as a woman. Yeah. Where you're done. Man, it's hard to come done, back. It, mm, I don't really see that happening. It really takes a miracle for a woman to come back when she really has been done. Because I feel like women give men so a plethora of yes. chances that when and they she's don't like, realize when they're being given these chances. No, so it's not like she's letting him know. Hey, this is chance number one. No, she would just forgive <laughs> you and move on like nothing happened. And you falsely think you get comfortable. You like get comfortable in that. Yes, you exactly. feel comforted in that and you're like well you know what she's never leaving until yeah. one day it's like she's giving you all these chances and she's fed up and you're yeah. like hold on wait you're leaving wait, me you're leaving like how, how, how did this happen you why, never why even told me you started counseling uh why you know well, mind you I, I we went to counseling several times you told me i was fat and unattractive you told me to love the family and i'll love you oh um and it didn't work so <laughs> now i got to go you see yeah. christine is happily married now honey mm. Mm-hmm. Which we will get into in our next video, you guys. Yes, yes, but yes, yes. Yes, y'all, but it is Mary. And Amma. We invite you guys to like, subscribe, and comment down below, you all. And do not forget to um, tune into our next video. Bye. Bye.